Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use Amazon Linux 2 to install our WordPress application. Then we'll move the file to the EFS. Before we do that, let's go to our EC2 console and create a security group to be able to SSH into our EC2. So under services, under compute, select EC2. On the left side, scroll down and select security group. I'm going to filter this by my VPC. In our demo VPC, we only have the security groups. Let's create a new security group for SSH. So I'll click create security group, give it a name. I'll call it SSH security group. And I'll give it the same name for the description. And I'll click this drop down. I'm going to put it in my demo VPC. I'm going to add a row. I'm going to scroll down. It is going to be SSH. And on that source, click on this drop down and select my IP. So you should never leave SSH to anywhere in the world, always limit it to your IP. So when you select my IP, it is going to select the IP of your machine and put it there. Then scroll down and click Create Security Group. And we have created that security group. The next thing we need to do is update the security group for our web server and the security group for our EFS. To do that, I'm going to select security groups again on the left side. And I'm going to filter it by my VPC. And I'm going to select my EFS security group. I'm going to select inbound rule. I'm going to click edit inbound rule. I'm going to add a new rule. It is going to be SSH. And under the source, I'm going to click in here and select the SSH security group we just created and click save rule. I'll filter it again by my VPC so you can see what's going on. The next one we want to edit is the web server security group so i'm going to select it i'm going to click edit inbound rule i'm going to add a rule it is going to be ssh and i'm going to select under the source it is going to be our ssh security group here and i'm going to click save rule and i'm going to filter it again by my vpc id Please ignore the word press you are seeing next to my security group name. This is an updated lecture, so I had to recreate the environment to be able to show you how to use the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. And I recreated the environment using CloudFormation template. But everything else is the same and you should be able to follow along. So once we've created our SSH security group and update our EFS and web server security group, on the left side, Let's scroll up and select EC2 dashboard. And let's launch a new instance. I'm going to launch a new instance. It is going to be Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select T2 Micro. Under the VPC, I'll select the drop down. I'll put it in my demo VPC. For the subnet, let's put it in the public subnet 1 US is 1A. And everything else should be default. I'll click next to add storage. I'll click next for tags. I'll give it tag a target name. And I'll call it setup web server. And I'll click next to add security group. I'm going to select an existing security group. For my security group, I'm going to select the application load balancer security group. I'm also going to select the SSH security group and the web server security group. So select those three security groups and click next to review and review everything and launch. We are going to select our EC2 keypad, acknowledge and launch your EC2 instance. And I'm going to view that instance. So it is now launching our EC2 instance. Once this EC2 instance is up and running, we are going to SSH into it, then install WordPress, 
and move the files to our EFS. But I'll, so I'll give it a couple of seconds for the EC2 to come online. My EC2 instance is now running. I'm going to select it and I'm going to copy the public IPv4 address. Then we are going to SSH into it. So open PuTTY and SSH into the EC2 instance. And to grab my key pair, I will improve the appearance so you can see it better. And I'm going to type ec2 iPhone user at that public IPv4 address. I'm going to select yes. And now I have SSH into this ec2 instance. So now we can run the command to install WordPress and move the files to EFS. To do that, we are going to use these commands. So please download this command so you can follow along. I'm going to dock them next to each other like that. So the first command we are going to run is sudo su to change to root. I'm going to copy that and paste it in there, press enter. The next command is we are going to update our web server. I'm going to copy and paste it in there and press enter. It is going to download all the latest patches and updates. Once your shell prompt is available, we are going to copy the next command, which is to make a new HTML directory. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. So to paste it, I'm just right clicking on the mouse to paste it. Now press enter. And the next command is we are going to use this command to mount our EFS. But before you do that, let me maximize this. Make sure you change this part of this command. So I'm going to go back to my management console. So I'm going to right click on the AWS logo to open a new tab. And I'm going to select my EFS or you can type it up here, type EFS. So I have my application EFS running, I'll select it. I'll click attach and you want to copy this command. This command is unique in every EFS. So copy this command. Once you copy, I'm going to open my notepad. I'm going to paste it there. Make sure you paste it up to the .com and not with the EFS. We want to mount it to the var.w.html. So once you copy that and copy all this command, I'm going to minimize this again and paste that command down here, your shell prompt and press enter. Give it a couple of seconds for your shell prompt to be available. It is mounting it now. So once your shell prompt is available and you don't get any error, it means that the mount was successful. Good. The next thing we need to do is install the Apache web server. What we can do is you can clear the screen. So type clear. Now let's copy this command to install our Apache web server. I'm going to copy, paste it there and let it run. I'm going to press enter. Then we are going to copy the second command, which is to install PHP version 7.4. I'm going to copy it and paste it down here. And I'm going to wait for the shell prompt to be available again. I'm going to press enter. So once the shell prompt is available, we are going to copy the next command, which is this. And this is to install MySQL version 5.7. To copy it there. And we'll wait for the shell prompt to be available. So my shell prompt is now available. I'm going to copy the next command, which is to set some permissions on the files. I'm going to copy, paste it there. And the next command is to download WordPress. I'm going to copy it and paste here. I'm going to press enter. I'll give it a couple of seconds for the shell prompt to be available again. I'm 
shell prompt is available. I'm going to copy this next command. And this command is to create our WP config file. I'm just going to paste it there, press enter. And now we are going to edit that WP config file. So we use this command, I'll copy that command, paste it in here, press enter. So it is going to bring you in here. And what we want to do in here is click the drop down arrow on your keyboard. We want to update our database name, our username, the password, and the host name with the information of our RDS database. So to do that, let me show you. I'm going to go back to my management console and I'm going to close this. Right click on here to open the RDS service. Select it here and give it a second. I'm going to select my RDS instance. I'm going to select the name here. Select the configurations tab. In here, you will see the information of your RDS. Your database username is here. Your database name is here. And the host name is here. And make sure you remember your password because you're going to need your password. So we can start entering those information in there. I'm going to go in the configurations tab. I believe the first one is the database name. I'm going to copy my database name, which is this one right here. I'm going to right click copy. Go back to my SSH. I'm going to go there. I'll put it on that and delete this. And right click on my mouse to paste the database name there. Then the next one is the username. The username is right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back, press the drop down arrow. I'm going to delete the username. I'm going to right click to paste that in there. The next one is the password. So make sure you remember your password. I'm going to enter my password now. The next one is the host name. So go back to the management console under connectivity and security, select the tab. And this is your host name. So we're going to copy this and go back to our SSH. I'm going to come down. Under my host name, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to paste my host name in there and I can maximize this so you can see. So you can see my DB host name, I've pasted in there. And let me dock it again. this. And now all we need to do is while you are in here, press Control X, press Y, and press Enter. The next thing we need to do is restart our web server. So we are going to use this last command, copy it and paste it in there and press enter. And now if we go to our management console, go back to our EC2, copy that IP address. We are going to open a new tab and paste that IP address in there, press enter. And there you go, we have our WordPress. So now you can just enter the information of your site and click install WordPress. So I'm going to enter the information now. So once you enter your information, click install WordPress. Then we can log in. And there you go. We have installed our WordPress application on Amazon Linux 2 AMI and we've moved the file to EFS. Don't delete this server yet because in the next lecture we are going to be creating our application load balancer. So don't delete it yet. And that is it for this lecture. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.